What's good YouTube? It's your boy Fanta Season, aka Fanta, and if you're OG, you might even know me as Imagine Slaying. And as you guys could tell from that title, I finally made a content creation build. Now, don't think that that build is only for content just because I'm saying content creation build. This is a build that can dunk, do all the fun things that I've never been able to do in 2K. This build can dunk, this build can play defense, this build can still shoot from limitless range. This build can do everything. But enough talk, that being said, let's get straight into how to make this build. All right, now that we're here in the builder, you're gonna wanna put your name, put your last name, put whatever you hand you want, jersey number, it doesn't really matter. And before we actually get into exactly how to make this build, make sure you guys like and subscribe. I've been streaming 10 hours a day on YouTube, 10 hours a day on Twitch. But without further ado, let's get straight into this build. You're gonna wanna go 6'3", 199 pounds, and 6'7", wingspan. Now, I did make this build a cap breaker build, so if you don't have cap breakers, you can just rock out with this build while it's at an 89. But I personally do have cap breakers, so I have a 94.3 when this build is all set and done. I know it's gonna show at 89.3, but realistically, this build's gonna be a 94.3 ball build. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is throw that driving dunk to a 93. The next thing you're gonna do, throw your stand dunk to a 45. That's all you need to get the off one hands and the two hands. Now for shooting, you're gonna wanna go a 79 mid range, 89 three pointer. Remember, if you have your cap breakers, this three pointer will be a 94. So you will have your limitless on gold. And if you wanna use your plus one, you could get, even get that to Hall of Fame. So I also have an 80 free throw. You don't have to upgrade that if you don't want to. You could put that somewhere else, but I personally wanted to have some free throw on my build for when I take this build to the rec center. Now moving over into our playmaking category, as you guys can see, I have the pass accuracy at a 78. I have the ball handle at a 92 and I have the speed with ball at a 91. Now, if you're asking yourself, why do you have your ball handle at a 92? You could go 90 and you still get your handles for days on gold. I personally think that if you're gonna be dribbling the ball as, at least as much as I dribble the ball, I think you want your unpluckable to at least be on gold. You don't wanna be using your plus one on unpluckable when you could get things like Hall of Fame Limitless or as you guys can see, the speed with ball is at 91. So this legendary lightning launch can also be turned into legend lightning launch if you wanted it to. So. Um, there's, there's a couple different things you could do with your plus one badge. I personally like to use it on my limitless range because I feel like Hall of Fame is fast enough. But you can use your plus one on your lightning launch and you will have legendary lightning launch on this build with the 94.3 gold limitless. And on top of that, you can see I have the 78 pass sec. So the ball does still zip. Moving on to defense, we have interior defense at a 70. Our perimeter defense, we had it at 82. And for our steel, we had it at an 85. Now you can get that steel to a 91 if you wanna get your glove on uh, gold. I personally don't think that plucks are that good this year. So I think glove on silver is perfectly fine because you still get fast reaches. I think the majority of the steals that you're gonna get in this game are from blitzing the ball. And uh, 85 is more than enough you need to get a good reach animation and blitz a ball if you beat somebody to the spot. You still get your interceptor on gold, which is really good, especially when you add that 6'3 height with the 6'7 wingspan. This build does, as you guys can see, it looks a lot bigger than it actually is. Like when you see, when you look at those clips and see how it was dribbling, people were coming to my stream all the time saying that, that does not look 6'3, you look like a huge guard. And that's because that 199 pounds on the weight. You could move that around if you wanna be slimmer. I personally think this build looks best when it's like big, you know what I'm I mean it takes up more space makes it look more defensive i don't know could be placebo maybe not but 63 block as well once again upgrade your block it doesn't cost a lot it gives you good animations if you're closing out and jumping as you guys know contesting jump shots in this game is hard so uh that's really helpful and then when you add that with the 70 interior you get really good chase down animations you take people out of dunks layups trust me take my word all right so let's max out the rest of this build offensive rebound you want to go 28 that's just what it is it's a couple little tabs it speed 88 and then agility we have at an 85 this build is complete you see the strength is at a 60 as well i do not recommend you really going out crazy on strength if you're not going to go super crazy and max out your strength it is no point of having like a bunch of strength because for a strong handle to work and for you to really move people out the way while you dribble, you need to be stronger than your defender. And most of the times, the people that you're gonna be being defended by are lockdowns or people on twos court have really high strength. So you're not gonna be baby and pass them. So I have the 60 strength just to, for defensive purposes to get better bumps. And then I have the 80 vertical, obviously, to get the contacts with the 93 driving dunk. And that is how you make this build. All right, that's it for today's video. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this build. If you do end up making it, let me know down below in the comments how you like it. I promise you guys, you this build will not disappoint you. I feel like this is the most casually friendly build that I've personally made or dropped 
on YouTube. You guys know usually I go with the really small guards, and not 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 everybody could just hop on a small guard and win. You know what I mean? So I've been trying to take that into consideration. This year I'm gonna be making more content like ish builds like this. Obviously this isn't a build that I would take to the comp stage and play. I have ISO'd with it and it's good, but as you guys can probably already tell, that is not a meta stage build. You can ISO if you really have stick and you're playing good with it, but I don't recommend ISOing in the comp stage this year. I just think PNR is just the better way to go. That's it for today's video. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Like I said at the beginning of the video, 10 hours a day, 11 hours a day on YouTube actually, and then more like 15 hours a day on Twitch, streaming daily, going crazy all year. It's your boy Fantasy's in AK Fanta, and if you're OG, you might even know me as a Madden Slain, and I'm out. Peace. Mwah.